detective story a police a suspect police say ran from a deadly crash last week in East Haven streams his confession live on Facebook. Good evening everyone. I'm Scott McDonald and I'm Ann Craig in for Ann Nyberg tonight. News 8 Stephanie Simone shows us that emotional confession that he made just minutes before he turned himself into police all on Facebook live. Court documents show he should not have been behind the wheel because he had a suspended license. He went live on Facebook minutes before he turned himself over to police. He says he tried to help his friend after the crash and he explains why he ran. One last hug before 23 year old Jonassis Melendez turned himself over to East Haven police. He admits to being behind the wheel in the crash that killed 27 year old Gatanya Jurgenti. I'm about to go turn myself in. That's Melendez live on Facebook detailing what he says happened 24 hours before the fatal crash. Strapped for cash, he was staying in a Brantford motel with a 17-year-old and Jurgenti. He admits to buying weed and taking money from a taco truck. Took six dollars out of her taco truck. Broke up a couple more windows. Court documents state they were heading to visit friends in New Haven. The teenager and witnesses nearby told police he was speeding along Frontage Road. He says he was going 45 miles an hour when a car cut him off. He says he turned right and lost control. When I pressed my e brake so hard, six seconds, six seconds, I felt the impact. He says he helped the teenager out and then got Jurgenti. And I was holding her head. And I asked her, Tanya, Tanya, are you okay? She looked at me. She said, mm hmm. She blinked at me six times. He says he was trying to help Tanya. I screamed to the cop, help. The cop looked at me, took two steps to the right, put his right hand up, and stopped the traffic. There was no traffic going on. Then he says the teen told him to go, and he did. I looked at her, I looked at Tanya, I looked at the cop, and I just took five steps back. There was woods behind me. I just kept going, kept going, kept going. Two days on the run, he turned himself in. Melendez said he had skipped court recently for some cases, too. Now, we reached out to East Haven Police. They say they are aware of the Facebook videos, and it's all part of the investigation. They say a plainclothes officer was the first to arrive on scene. He saw there were several victims left to get his medical bag, and by the time he came back, Melendez had already left. In New Haven, Stephanie Simone, News 8.